If you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing first and in what order in the most feared promo, guys. So, for starters, guys, with the most feared just coming out, if you didn't see my video from yesterday and you're watching this now and you need to keep updated, I did drop a video going over all the MUD info and screenshots from MUD info that I went over last night on the from the stream. So that pretty much covers everything in most feared. Now, most feared so far, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I'm hyped because it's most feared. Most feared is fun. It's a fun time. There's new stuff. You can't really not like most feared. But the cards, because it's being dropped in two, in two uh, parts, there's the first part and the second part. So far, the first part of cards, I don't really see many cards I want. I mean, the only card I really see on my team in the first part, probably that Ray Lewis, even maybe, because I do have the two middle linebackers in that already. So I have to really think about that one. But Ray Lewis is potentially an option on the team. And then that's really about it from that standpoint. I'm hoping there's like a Tyree kill at some point or some other card that I could pick up. But there's an order of which I think you should be attacking this Mutt, uh, Most Feared promo. First off, guys, for all you guys who haven't finished your Mutt Hero Solo yet, I recommend you get that done. I got to get mine done too. This is what I was talking about. Now we're in Most Feared with so much to do. There's going to be no time to get this Mutt Hero Solo done for the time being. But first thing, based on the screenshots, I believe there might be a level increase. So if there is a level increase, boys, then that's pretty important. Because a level increase means that we can get from 60 to like 70 now. And that's going to be very time consuming with all the solos, house rules, everything to play. So we really got to be on the lookout to see how we're going to attack that if there is indeed a level increase. Next, actually before we get into this video boys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button. We are at 10.1k, we're growing crazy fast again boys. Thank you for all the support, thank you for all the new members of the squad, the family. If you're new and you want to come join, hit that subscribe button boys. We're grinding to 20k, that's our next goal. Comment down below, say what's up. Let me know what you guys think of the most feared promo. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. I will keep. I will be running the day-long giveaways today and then tomorrow, and then I'll be done with them. So we did not hit the goal yesterday, sadly, so I'm going to lower the goal a little bit. I'm going to make it, if any video today hits 400 likes, I will be giving away 50k to a random commenter. All you got to do is go down below, comment 50k, and like the video, and I will pick a random commenter. We did not hit yesterday, but if we hit it today or tomorrow, you guys still get it. And then I'll hold off on that for a few weeks, probably, if we don't hit it again. Or at the end of this, I might just give it away anyways. We'll see, guys. Just smash the like button, show some love, and that is about it, guys. So let's get back into this video. So, next on the list, we got the level. Guys, real quick, to toss into this video, there is a secret package you guys saw by the title. It guarantees you, I believe, an 88 overall card, which I'm going to show you guys right now how to get that. It is pretty cheap. It doesn't cost that many coins at all, maybe like 10K at the most. It really does not cost that much. I promise you guys I'll go over all that in a second. So... It's a secret set. You can only get it from the most feared missions. You gotta go over here to most feared missions, go to experience the cauldron, and then you're gonna wanna go down to the complete the trick or treat set. So it's collect four items trick or treat. So you're gonna need three skill crafting materials and one speed strength and perception material. So the way you get those are with bats. So let me go on over real quick to the store. This is how you're gonna get them. Go over to the store, go to get more packs, and head all the way right on most feared. It's over here. So you're gonna need three of these and one of these. So the material fantasy pack costs you about a thousand bats each. So it's gonna cost you a thousand bats and you need three skill materials. So let's just round that to hundred. It's gonna cost 300 bat uh, skill material bats and then 1,050 for the material fantasy pack. So it's gonna cost you a grand total of a little bit around like 1,350-ish. So that's about 1,350 bats. I got about 4,600 bats from quick selling in 85 that went for 30K. So it appears that about 1,300 bats will probably be close to about 10k. So it costs 10k for this pack. So you're gonna buy three skill materials. You're gonna head on over. You're gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna buy one of these real quick. I already bought the skill materials. Obviously, I'll show you guys what we get out of this. If I if I'm not wrong, I heard it's an 88 overall player, and those quick sell for about like 6,000 training. So you actually make a ton of training back. Uh, I'm gonna go with the speed one because I like speed. Let's head on over back to the secret set real quick and go put it in. See, so we get purchase five packs from the store. Thank you. I'll quick sell that later. Now let's head on over to the missions. Let's go check it out. Most feared. Experience the call. Drink. Complete the trick or treat set. Let's complete this real quick and show you guys what we actually get from this. Toss those in. If it isn't 88, guys, this is a massive dub. That's either an extra four to five thousand bats or a good 88 overall for your team. 88 fantasy nap pack, boys. That's 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 nice, boys. And we can just pick anyone we want. Okay. Let's see. Who can, can I use anyone from this list? Jabril Peppers, Brian Winters, or Jonathan Allen. So let's compare Jonathan Allen real quick. Yeah, he's not going to have a role on my team. 
Jabril Peppers actually could be a really good backup box safety. I might have to take Jabril Peppers. Brian Winter, scary sharp. No, David Castro beat your ass. So Jabril Peppers would not have to go here. So what I'm thinking, guys. Hmm. My best advice. Take whoever you can use to your team for now, and if you can't use any of them, just quick sell. So let's take Jabril Peppers. He could be a backup box safety for me. And if we click on him, he quick sells for 6,100 bats. You actually make a bats profit of about 4,000. So you can turn 1,000 to 6,000. It's pretty much a guaranteed um, bats method right there. So that's pretty simple. Let's get back to the what to do first Madden. I hope you guys enjoy this little secret pack here. Let's get back into the rest of the video. Next, you're gonna wanna be collecting a ton of collectibles. So the way the system going to work for sets is going to be there's the like the, the top bosses like Ray Lewis and to make get Ray Lewis you need Earl Thomas you need Tyler Lockett and you need the final guy which was Earl Thomas Tyler Lockett and I'm blanking on that third guy I think it was Michael Thomas maybe but the way you do this set is you have to make those cards to make those cards you need crafting material which is like the collectibles of most feared so the way you go about doing that is let's say you come over to sets. You're going to see the most feared set right here. I'm pretty sure like right there. And you're going to go into it and you have to craft them. It's like 95 pieces for the cards. Now to get these pieces, you get them from house rules, objectives, and solo challenges. And what I recommend doing the second you get into the house, into solo, into Madden, play solos. Now the whole solos you want to play are the daily ones. So from what I saw from the stream, there's going to be daily 10 solos. And now these 10 solos aren't, aren't, they're limited and you can only play 10 per day. And it's not like you can get 10 wins per day. It's you literally can only play 10 per day. So if you lose three of them, one seven, you only get seven collectibles. So if they are 95 collectibles for these cards, theoretically, if you play this for nine days straight, you get one for free in theory, right? And then house rules also gives you a free one. So you get two for free. So it should be pretty, pretty easy to make this Ray Lewis if this all mounts correctly. So the regular solos you can wait on. Those solos you have time on. Now what I will be playing, the first thing I'll be doing is playing those daily solos because obviously, if you get 10 every day, that's a really big increase in step four getting these cards. So this could be pretty good, right? So if you can get um, 10 a day and they do this for at least a week, you can get like close to 70 and you can get some others from the solo challenge. You can get some from house rules and then you can get a free one from house rules. Before you know it, you have two out of the three cards and then you buy it. You get the Ray Lewis and then you get a card back net. There is so much potential with this promo for making coins just off that basis right there or just to get cards. I'll gladly keep Ray Lewis in one of those cards net. I'd have no problem with that. So I'm pretty excited. For the potential of this promo if all clicks right so with that being said guys that's the order so far level increase is definitely up there because there's great rewards we got from that but you don't have to focus on the level increase just play your solos and your house rules and that should progressively go with that for the for the average user for me i'm gonna have to be grinding out probably one solo to get that as quickly as possible for you guys because you guys already know i gotta get you guys out the rewards and everything as quickly as possible but for the most part i'd start with the daily solos then the regular solos then don't forget guys there is the house rules so if you guys know what house rules house rules is a every other week objective based tournament mode kind of thing now i don't want to say tournament objective based game mode where pretty much you play objectives such as 20 yard touchdowns overtime rules rush only pass only losing points uh point yoink like we had last two weeks ago we do things like that and it gives us pretty great rewards so i'll be over here in seasons you come over right here You'll see right here, instead of seasons next to it, it'll be a head to head. We click into seasons, then it'll be head right here. It'll be house rules on the left of that. Now, the way house rules works is that for this one, to get a Nat house rules card, such as Lockett, Earl Thomas, or Michael Thomas, you're going to have to get 75 wins. Now, it does sound tedious and obsessive, but, but it's not two days long. If it was two days long, I, I would just cancel. Like, no one's going to play it. But 75 wins. And you guys have at least a week. I know that they said at least a week. I, I don't know if they said the whole promo, but I did hear a week. So you guys have at least seven days. So if you divide that by seven, you pretty much have to play like 11 a day. A little under, like 10.8 a day. But round up because you, you can't just play point in the game. Pretty much 11 a day will get your guy by the end of the week, which still kind of sounds overwhelming. But if you get that free card, like I said, plus most of the so crafting tier from solos, you could potentially get two for free. And the set only costs three players. So in theory, you can almost get Ray Lewis for like three, two to three hundred k. And if you get that other guy for free from other crap interiors or packs or whatever, you could potentially get Ray Lewis for free, <coughs> sell him, and then keep a knack card. So that's pretty awesome. You do get one of them back knack guys. So that is pretty pretty awesome, guys. Now don't forget, you also do get a captain token. So I recommend you get that done within the same day as the first day. Play your daily solos. Head on over to challenges. There will be a milestone within 
the most fear challenges that you'll see right about up here and when you click on those most fear challenges you're going to be able to get a master captain token now if you guys don't know what a captain token is you come over to team item binder and it applies to your captain which for me is ryan shazier right here you'll click on him you upgrade him to his next slot now let's see if we can see what he'd be upgraded to the next one so i currently have him here Here's where the next slot would be. So you add the token, who's gonna have 88 speed, 89 tackle, 89 jumping, 86 impact block, 91 pursuit, 89 play rec, 82 power, 85 zone. So the shades is gonna get even better. The card art does not change up until 95 overall, so don't expect that to change anytime soon. But as you guys can see, a lot of great things to be done day one. You can get your daily solos done, crafting materials, start the house rules, level up, get your Ryan Shazier up, or your Herman Moore, Ty Law, or Dallas Clark. There's so much to be done. Now, guys, for me, I'm gonna use this um, this promo more as a coin making method, as a, as a coin a coin making time period because there's not many cards I need on my team. Do I want the Ray Lewis? Yes, I'm a big time Ray Lewis fan, so I definitely want that Ray Lewis most likely. In that case, I'll probably exchange my Devin White for something else from the um, the Gauntlet solos. But in that case, I want Ray Lewis. I kind of want Earl Thomas. I don't know. I kind of trash talk him a lot, so I don't know if I really want him. Tyler Lockett, maybe. He's like a Tyree kill with hands. If they don't drop a Tyree kill in this promo, I might have to pick up Tyler Lockett to replace my current Tyree kill. So I'm waiting to see if they drop a Tyree kill at any point. But for the time being, there's a second part to this promo, guys. So do not fear. There is a second part coming. Hopefully, introduce a few good linemen that we could add to our team. Maybe another running back, something else. So until that time drops, until we know what's coming, um, for the time for the part one, I'm going to use making coins. So to make coins, like I said, get as many crafting materials as you can. Get as many nat cards as you can play your house rules plus house is going to give you cards i mean coins cards trophies materials and a nat card and then with all that saved up then you're going to have a nat player and then almost another nat player then when you build ray lewis let's say ray lewis sells for like 600k and you get him for like two 300k you make 300k and you keep a nat card for free so you're in, th in theory still making like 500k if you really think about it so there's so many ways to make coins that's all i'm going to take this first week this first week i'm tackling it like that in that order i'm going to level up Finish house rules, get my Nat cards, get my Ray Lewis, and then I'm gonna chill, wait till week two, see what they drop next, and then rock out from there. That's kind of the way I play. That's kind of like my plan of attack for this. I hope this guy, I hope this helped you guys out to have some like theory or some like schedule of how to handle this. I think that's the best order to take this at, considering it is two parts. That is how you can handle the first part. I will be re-updating this video in about a week or so when I have a good take on what the second part is. I can go for all that for you guys and make a video for you guys, but that is about it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy i hope this helps you guys if it did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys get this video to 200 likes and boys also don't forget to drop a quick like on this video if this video gets to 400 likes and you comment down below 50k we'll be picking a random commenter by the end of today so if it doesn't hit it today i'll do it again tomorrow <coughs> and if anything i'll just give it to you guys by tomorrow if you guys don't hit it within the three days but smash the like button boys don't forget comment down below also Make sure to turn on that notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy Most Feared. Hopefully, I have another few fire videos for you guys coming today. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.